Alright, you gonna introduce me? No, I'm <laughs> uh, My name is Bruce Coddington. I work for Object Partners and I try to code JavaScript, but um, yeah, we'll see. So I, I accepted the challenge. I'm gonna try. Everybody familiar with Yeoman? Anybody? Anybody not familiar with Yeoman? Okay. Well, what it is, <laughs> um, you can find it on uh, yeoman.io. I, I highly suggest if you're coding a lot of JavaScript and you have to do a lot of prototypes, you'll learn about it. Basically, it's an NPM package. You install it. It's written by Adi Osmani, Paul Irish, um, the One Direction of JavaScript. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so this is what we're going to do. Which it's really cool though because I, I really like it. So I'm going to try and create a generator within within 10 minutes, even with the sub generator. So here we go. So the first thing you want to do, as I already have Yeoman installed as an NPM directory, is you need to create a directory to put it in. So I do that, and I change, and then all you have to do is run yo generate, right? And so then the really handsome little devil comes up and it says, hey, tell me what your username on GitHub is. And do you want what's the name of the generator? But since it, you know you're in the directory, it knows you're following the naming conventions. So we'll go ahead and sweet. <laughs> right away. That's freaking awesome. That's a, that's a network. Are you connected to the network? Oh no, I'm not. <laughs> okay, so that's my talk. I'll see you guys later. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so run your generator. Today I'm some user on Nebraska. What's the name? Right? And so then it runs through. It's running an npm install. It creates your little packages for you. Get your templates. All right? And so, let's see, can we see that enough? <clears throat> Right, so it creates that, and basically what it does is when you call the generator, it it looks for the app that's your that's your root and the index.js. It also it gives you some templates out of the box: a powered package JSON, editor config, JSON RC. For some reason, I want four, I'd like two. Right? <laughs> I get the biggest applause for two spaces. That's awesome. All right, and then uh, so then. Uh, here's the, your index.js, your generator, and you'll see that right here, this bit of code is if, if you actually do have a package in Bower JSON, uh, once you run the generator, it'll run npm and Bower install for you. We're not going to do that today. Um, here we it has a prototype asked for, so it sets it up with prompts. You saw that little handsome devil. We are going to want prompts, but it's not going to be some option. It's going to be container title. Right, and what is the title? And then you can even tell you want it to default to Kraska JS, so I don't have to type so much. Right, and this is where it figures out the prompts. And it has a, a default task for you, and we are just going to create a really basic. HTML. HTML. All right, and our app is just going to have HTML, CSS, and I forgot the multiple cursor. And app.js. I promise this is the most you're going to see me type today. I know. Thanks. <laughs> Appreciate that. Hey, there you go. All right. Awesome. All right. So there. All right. But we don't have these. We normally need to code them. So we're going to go. <laughs> Copy. Yeah. 
So now we got them in there. Last thing you need to do is to just basically have npm link it, right? That way it creates a little sim link for you so that you have it actually available in your class pattern. All right, so now let's go ahead and create an app. All right, and then all we have to do is run our generator. Boom, what's the title? We're going to default it to Nebraska.js. And then you can see that it went through and created our three templates. Alright. And boom, we have, our, we have our generator created. I know, extremely trivial, right? And this is, this is the best design work ever. I, you know, I am available for hire if anybody needs to <laughs> design a website. It's fantastic. Okay. So, one last thing. So that's, that's not enough, right? We've got to do a subgenerator. And so Yeoman has a concept of subgenerators so that you can modularize your application. Right? And so to create that, it's generator. Remember that was our command. Subgenerator. Right? And then you give it a name. And so what happens there, where the heck is my, there we go. It basically creates a sub package for you, a module, gives it the title of what you asked for, and gives you a new index.js. This one's a named base, so basically when you call the generator and you pass in an argument, that first argument is actually attributed to this.name for you. So what I'm going to do to save time is cheat because control C, control V, nothing can ever go wrong with that while coding. And so basically what we're going to do is we've got this little bit of JavaScript here that, you know, it's on the global scope because that's, that's where I love to put all my stuff right there in the middle because I'm the only guy that's going to be touching that website, right? And what we do here, so if you notice, we now demo. We now run the generator. Oh, crap. One last hit, one last thing. And I don't have it in my head. And then I promise I'm done. We have to figure out, we gotta call it, right? So what Yeoman does is instead of calling something directly, you register a generator for it to call a subgenerator. And you do that with the uh, hook for method, right? So, Nebraska message, and it accepts a configuration object, args, and let's say, Zach is a cool dude and knows how to body surf. I witnessed that. False. Right? Come on, no, you're, you're good. Surf false. <laughs> right, so here, Nebraska, we run it, and since we registered it, it's also, it's, it runs the entire thing, but you can see down below, here, oh, you guys can't see that, you can see down below that it actually registered, it's, it called that. So now, if, if we actually go to the website, wherever it's listed, right? And we do a refresh. You can see that you know that's all, that's all I was doing. The sub generator is doing that. But you're saying, hey, I don't want to run the generator every single time I run run the sub generator. Well, that's the beauty of it, right? You've made a sub generator, so in here you can just call the sub generator using the name naming convention convention that you set up, right? And now we can just say, Nisi is a Neck beard <laughs> will not eat vegetables. <laughs> right? Run that, added a message to the app, and voila, boom, it's right there for you. That's what I got. <laughs>